Hello everyone, it's Ben from the Chair to give you a review of Peter Rabbit 2 The Runaways. I don't think many people have called it that, but that's what it's called. Um, this is a sequel to Peter Rabbit, which I've just reviewed on Blu-ray. Just lets you put up the video. These are, these are going up together, so uh, yeah, hopefully watch that first before watching this video. Um, yeah, so Peter Rabbit 2 follows on from Peter Rabbit 1. Um, it's, um, it's different. This time... It's more like breaking the fourth wall. They really should have called this movie Peter Rabbit Breaks the Fourth Wall. Because that's all they do. Oh my god. Oh my god, look. They're about to say this. And it's almost like she's... Because in this movie, um, B and Petrus Potter, played by Rose Byrne, is writing the the books for Peter Rabbit. So they've published the first one and she's going on to the second one. And they're uh, publishing it from their own kind of shop. But a pu big publisher from London spots it and wants to make it big time. So she goes to London and so does Peter Rabbit. And, you know, the kind of thing of, oh, look, let's change him by putting him into space. And let's change it by doing this. And let's change it by doing that. And they make him into a bad guy, you know, because it sells. And Peter's still being himself by making mistakes and being a little arrogant in himself. But not as bad as the first movie, but... There's this constant breaking the fourth wall about them, but not putting them in jackets. You know, like they're already in jackets, and and it's the constant breaking the fourth wall. Of, did he do that? Did he not do that? Did he say that? In this film, we're gonna break the fourth wall by saying this. Look, we're gonna wink at the camera like Malcolm and Wyatt, and we're gonna we're gonna say we don't we're gonna break the fourth wall in this way. I mean, the first movie did the moral thing of oh my god if you if you do this this is going to happen to you kids in this movie it's breaking the fourth wall constantly um whether it's um b saying something or the or the book um um publisher kind of winking at the rabbits or the rabbits misunderstanding what they're saying and saying something different or it's very it's the same joke over and over again which is the same problem i had with Peter Rabbit one. Is the story a little better? Yeah, because you don't have the, the setup of the McGregor thing this time, changing the McGregor. You could you've now moved it on to it's alright, it's your own story now. You've got rid of the the there's no um ironically there's, there's no um Beatrix Potter art in this one. They are literally she is writing the books now and it's like kind of their own story. It's like a a sequel sequel prequel because it's it's she's writing about them but it's already happened so she's like we can't just put them in in the garden like they're always been we have to put them into space because that's what what the publisher wants and we have to put them in this and then that and then this and then that we have to you know put them in in a racing helmet or whatever with fish bowls on their heads or, or whatever she's all over the place because all she thinks about it is how much money can she make? Because she gets swept up in this London thing. Um, Peter Rabbit doesn't really like being called bad, so he kind of wanders off in like a teenager strop type of thing. And that's where the um, story kind of builds from there because he meets another rabbit that um, is, a, is a kind of con man, con rabbit, I should say, you know, and then kind of cons Peter into doing jobs for them and stuff like that. But that's all I wanted to say about the story. Um, yeah, so it's so it's okay. It's it's a little bit more adult than the first one, so they've improved that. Um, it's okay. It's all right. I think it's a one-time watch. I'll probably buy it on Blu-ray because I got the first one. Um, I don't think James Corden is as annoying in this one. Um, McGregor seems to be more settled down. The one thing I will say is that. They forget in the first movie that McGregor knows that Peter can talk. Um, or he presumes he can, but definitely, definitely not making it up. In the second one, they, McGregor catches him talking again. So they kind of forget in the first movie that he kind of already knows. Even though Peter tried to tell him it's all in his mind, but it's kind of obvious that it was there. So um, they kind of use the same thing. Oh my God, you can talk. Can you, What else can you do? You did that from the first movie. You know, if you're going to be moving on, at least let him talk a little bit, even if it's just you. B doesn't believe it, you know. Um, 
yeah, Peter gets up to antics and McGregor has to save him. So it's it's the same kind of movie. It's what it is. It, it's Paddington Two done a lot worse. So it's that's what it is. It's Paddington Two done a lot worse. Paddington Two did the misbehaving animal thing a lot better than Peter Rabbit Two did it. So if you want to see a better movie than Peter Rabbit 2, The Runaways, watch Paddington 2. Or in, in any case, watch Paddington 1. Because, you know, that those two films are better than this. The cast are great. They all return from the first movie. Um, can't complain there. The story is broader, but the same the same joke they do over and over again with the breaking of the fourth wall and, and showing B writing the books and... Even though she's basing them on characters that, that that are already in real life, it's just really like you're trying to honour Peter Rabbit by kind of mishmashing reality with fiction, and that's what happens when you ha- when you kind of mess around with the rights of a story. You know, it's only a seven minute story, but it's okay, I suppose. But like I said, Paddington one and two did it better. I but I think. Is their short stories and quite childish. So I downloaded one of the Mordable and I couldn't finish it because Paddington one is so, Paddington stories are quite childish. I just thought you know I'll try it because of the because of, I like the movies, but I couldn't get past a couple of pages. So they really kind of ad, adult up Paddington, whereas this they kind of I don't know what they're doing with um, Peter Rabbit, but um, yeah, I think. I'm going to give this a 6. It's not, it's above average, but only just. It's not bad, it's just above okay. Um, if you've got kids, take them to see it. If you're, you're a Beatrix Potter fan, you might be okay with it, you might be angered with it, you might, you might have already hated the first movie in James Corden, so you're not going to bother with this movie. I All I'm here to say is if you believe that, then my review will help you in in deciding that nothing has changed and don't go and see it. But if you like the first movie and you wanted slight improvements with a different story and a different joke, then this one is for you. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!